What's up, everyone? Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com. Oh, man. I'm going to just make up a name for this guy, even though he probably wants you to know his name because he's got a big cock. His name is Biff. His name is Buck, and he likes to fuck. Uh, I never hear this talked about in the fitness community, but I think it should be. My legs are pretty big, so big they push my testicles and dick forward, so that if I ever wear gym shorts, they show through. It's not they're small, or I even care, but I don't want to be walking in a pub place around kids with my business out there like that. Do you deal with this, or am I just genetically screwed? If you do, do you have any trips to keep my Johnson from running amok in my shorts? Thank you. And generally, I get a lot of troll emails, you know? And I wrote back, man, is it the size of your wiener, your legs, or both? He wrote back, I'd say I'm above average, but not by too much. I think it's a combination of the two. I wonder if Buck has a BBC. Okay, I wrote, are you wearing briefs? When I do, they don't help much. They just restrain it to my leg. Wow. Uh, I'm not saying I'm big. I'm not saying I'm small. I'm just saying that's not an issue for me. I mean, I have had some videos and I actually did. I posted a picture uh, when I was middleweight. This is like four or five years ago. And I just posted on Facebook. It was an update shot before show. It was me in blue briefs. Okay, I shouldn't have done it. I, I should have looked for but I didn't really look. And I was looking at my abs. I didn't look down below. And so I might go over and say, you know, I'm at a meeting and, and my I had a Blackberry, I think, at the time, or, or one of those phones, and it just was blown up, like Facebook notifications, right? I'm like, what the what's going on here? So suddenly, you know, my wife calls me and Katie. It's like, what'd you just post? I'm like, what do you mean? I just posted an update picture. I do them every day. She goes, you could see your entire Unit, I'm like what? what? I opened it up and and there it was. You know, I had my um, my blue briefs, and you can see everything from the mushroom tip to the elephant head to to you know a little bit twig and berries. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh shit, what do I do here? So I went. I was too late. To, I deleted it, but by that time it was on some gay websites. Um, I got a lot of propositions from a lot of. Uh, uh, influential and, and elite gay men, which was quite flattering, I might say, and um, that was pretty much that. So I, I, I can I can empathize sort of, but not being in public. Look, here's the deal. I'll stand up right now. You can't even tell I have a dick. Okay, it is what it is, man. I'm not like you. I got big legs. Obviously, I have a small dick, or at least a dick not as big as yours. Uh, my suggestion for you is to just wear things that'll cover it up. Uh, gym shorts, probably not the best. I would not wear boxer briefs. I would not wear boxers. I'll wear briefs, and you know what? If it restrains it to your leg, that's better than a bitch flying out there and flopping around all over the place. You know what I mean? So, um, <laughs> man, I've, I've, I haven't had that issue. I mean, you know, if I wear shorts and I wear briefs, you know, I, I don't like having my stuff flopping around. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you have a big penis, and if it's there and you're wearing gym shorts, it's going to show. If that's something of an issue to you, then I would definitely look into wearing cargo pants or jeans at all time, or cargo shorts, or something that's a little bit heavier so you don't see the outline of your mushroom tip. But, I mean, you know, there's really, I mean, it's part of your anatomy. And uh, the big legs, big penis, I guess it will stand out. Uh, there's really no way to help you. You just, um, it's like a, a woman having big tits. You can't really restrain them that much. You just happen to have a normally large cock. And um, for a normally large cock, you gotta restrain it a little. So the best thing you do is briefs and thicker pants. And um, hell, if you go out to the nightclub, fucking wear some friggin' spandex. Because if I had a dick the size of yours, I'd be showing it to everyone. I'd be fucking grapefruits. Fuck, I'd be fucking pineapples. All right, I'm too self conscious about the size of my little thing to do anything with it. You have a gift down there, man. You're gifted. Show it to the world, but if you're around kids and stuff, put some pants on, dog. Put some pants on, put some briefs on, and hell, tie that bitch down with a chastity belt. Another thing that might work is a jock strap. You ever think of that? A jock strap? It's got something big and tight just wrapped around your nuts, man. That thing's got a hold in it. I'm wondering how big this thing is where it actually goes in your leg, because you know, you have that gap, you have, you have legs, and then you know, you get two legs. So your balls should be resting in between. How big is this motherfucker where it's just on your leg? And also, I mean, how is it on your leg? Do you have a, uh, do you like dread, like hang to the side or something? Did you get your dick injured in like a, I don't know, a fucking pole vaulting contest? Were you cock fighting? I don't know what you were doing, man, but there's tons of ways to deal with this. I just don't have any personal 
um, anecdote to how I dealt with having a big cock because, well, I guess I'm just average. I'm Mark Lobot at TigerFitness.com because not knowing what to do with your BBC, that's not a game. Boom!